This is my King Canada 10 by 22 lathe. Now I do not have a spindle lock on this and I wanted one so this is what I did. We have holes all around here and they provide you a little tool that fits in there to, to move that around or hold it when you're unscrewing the chuck. So I'm going to make a spindle lock incorporating these holes. Uh, the first thing I needed to know was how far is it from the hole to this face. Now the holes are about 8 millimeters, very close to 8 millimeters. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, metric stock or not a lot of metric tools either. So I used a 5 16 dowel and put it in that hole. That's only two and a half thousandths of an inch less than the 8 millimeters. And I took a, a caliper and I measured from the dowel over to this wall. That gave me some idea of where I could put a hole in this block so that when I take a 5 16 rod through that hole, it's going to end up going into the other hole here. I've also drilled two holes here. They are quarter 20 holes. There was not a problem running into anything inside. There's nothing behind these and they're located directly above this spindle. So ended up I made a little bit of a mistake here in the placement of this hole and I had to generate a shim to put behind here to bring me out a little bit so that everything fit right. Now we're going to put that together and uh, show you how that works. So now we've installed the block. We have this 5 16 shaft with a little handle that I, a little knob that I made for the end of it. And it slides into here. And then you just rotate this until it drops into the hole and your spindle is locked in position. Now this comes in very handy when you're putting your chuck on and taking it off. You can use both hands. You don't have to try to hold this. It's good for that. It's also good for if you want to lock your chuck in position while you do some hand tapping with the part that's in the chuck. So it's uh, very easy to do. This, by the way, is about uh, a half an inch thick here. Uh, you would have to use whatever material you have around. It doesn't have to be half an inch thick, but it did work out nicely for counter-boring the heads of the screws into this. We're reinstalling the chuck here. We'll do it with one hand now. Just tighten that up till it stops. I also, for some time, uh, some time ago, I made this up. It's just a bar with a square on the end that fits into here and I can snug it up fairly tightly using the bar and this holds it. The one thing you do have to be careful of is don't start the lathe when this is in it. It doesn't like that. So there we go. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.